From New Jersey, we take you to Manhattan's West Side Highway. That's where CBS2's uh, Vanessa Murdoch is live with the Mobile Weather Lab. Vanessa. Well, good evening, everybody. The situation on the roadways here in Manhattan looking better than they did this morning as well. But that early morning snowfall was more impressive outside the city. We want to first take you to some of these totals to show you what happened earlier on. Totals as high as two plus inches. Those were the greatest that we saw across the region. It was just about two and a half in Somers. Patterson, well, they got just about two and a quarter inches. Now in Central Park today, one and a half inches of snow fell. It may not sound impressive, but it certainly made for some challenges in getting around the city streets and sidewalks. Snow, slush, then sun. We've seen it all today to the delight of some. It's snowy. Do you like the snow? Yes. Snow fell fast at just the wrong time, making the morning commute a slick one. Getting traction was tricky, ultimately leading to this mess on the West Side Highway. A single SUV slammed into the divider. When I got to work this morning, I thought I was walking around inside a blizzard. The wood is cold. It's too much cold. The shovels, salt spreaders, even brooms helped clear paths for pedestrians. For some, though, it wasn't enough. This is what you would call New York's finest right here. This is slop right here. <laughs> I've been slipping all over the place all day. Perhaps it was the still slushy sidewalks or the booties, but this woman needed assistance to keep from sliding to the corner. She got by with a little help from the scaffolding, while Duke Ellington here got a pick-me-up from his pal. We're faring. Not great, but we're doing it. By early afternoon, the sun lit up the Union Square Farmer's Market. But for Ed Huff of Central Valley Farm, early morning snow meant deflated sales. There was no business. So. Going okay now, though? It's better, but it's still slow. And as for William Lightold, this latest blast from Old Man Winter leaves him perplexed. When I was a kid, I couldn't understand why anybody would go to Florida. Now I can't understand why everybody doesn't go to Florida. All right, so think warm thoughts. That's the general trend. We are live here on the West Side Highway right now. The surface getting slick. There are already some spots of black ice. Want to note this right now, the temperature in the back of the mobile weather lab reading roughly 32 degrees. We've had wind gusts as high as 22 miles per hour right now, gusts up to 16. That means it's feeling like single digits. So yes, as temperatures continue to drop overnight, the concern will be refreezing of these roadways. We're live with the mobile weather lab on the west side highway vanessa murdoch cbs 2 news all right vanessa thank you the guys asking the question why do we live here again i know <laughs> what's it all about that's what makes us tough though great right? city right mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> pluses and minuses